Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last... 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We, are go we want to be your go-to source for all things health and nutrition. If you have questions about health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to start a good nutritional supplement program, if you've got skin health questions, questions about ingredients or formulations, or if you just have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you'd like to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the bright side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. All your favorite longevity products are up at the websites. Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Healthy Start Pack, Fucoid Z, all the longevity products. And join the team link that you can click on if you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. Earn thank you checks associated with having your own business. Work out of your home. Make as much or as little money as you like. Make $100 a month for hobby money or $200 a month, or $300 a month, all the way up to $10,000, $20,000, $100,000 a month. Some folks are making a million dollars a year selling longevity products, and it's really very easy to do. Just give somebody some Beyond Tangy Tangerine and watch what happens. For most folks who are not hip to nutritional supplementation, who are not aware of the power of nutritional supplementation, and believe it or not, that is still most folks, once they get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, it is truly a life-changing event. I would not be putting my name on the product. I would not be endorsing the product if I didn't believe that this was an absolutely essential nutritional supplement, I use it every day myself. I've used it every day for almost 20 years now, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, now Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. All the longevity products are up at brightsideben.com and the Join the Team link that you can click on for a one-time $25 fee. You can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also call 866-735-2470 for more info, 866-735. 735-2470. also want to re remind you to head out to, uh, if you're in the Michigan area anyway, to head to the Cancer Prevention Convention 2018 at the Dearborn Inn uh, Marriott, Ho Marriott Hotel, 20301 Oakwood Boulevard in Dearborn, Michigan, zip code 48124. And that's uh, Sunday, the 19th of August, a week from this Sunday. I'll be doing a talk on skin cancer. Ty Bollinger will be there. Uh, Daryl Wolf will be there. A lot of really cool healthcare professionals and cancer specialists. If you're dealing with cancer, you have a loved one who's dealing with cancer, you have an interest in helping people who have cancer, you definitely want to check this out. That's the Cancer Prevention Convention 2018 at the Dearborn Inn in Dearborn, Michigan, Sunday, August the 19th. And I'll be talking about it more and more. Uh, maybe we'll even get, uh, I think we will get Stacy on, Stacy McKeith, who, put, who puts it on every year. Uh, it's Cancer Prevention Convention, Sunday, August 19th. Hope to see you there. All right, we are talking about fats on the bright side. We spent time talking about, well, all kinds of fats, the three different kinds of, three different sizes of fats, the small fats, the medium fats, the large fats. The small fats are, I think they're the most interesting. They're all interesting, but I think the small ones are the most interesting. We'll spend some time talking about those here in a little bit. The medium chain triglycerides or the medium fats. 
uh, those are very interesting for uh, energy and for uh, people who want to lose weight. They're not processed, processed the way regular fats are. Uh, regular triglycerides are. When I'm talking about fats here, I'm not talking about cholesterol. I'm not talking about phospholipids, which are uh, the two other kinds of fats. There's three kinds of fats, let's say. There's three categories. You've got your cholesterol, you've got your phospholipids, and then you have your triglycerides. We're going to focus on the triglycerides, which are the dietary fat. That's the fat most people think of when they think of fats. That's the fat that's, fat that's on our bodies when we get fat, and that's the fats that's in our food that makes us fat. There's three sizes of these triglycerides, short, medium, and large. Uh, we've been talking about the large or the long ones, long chain fats, and the two ones that stand out in importance, the essential fatty acids. Those are the two long fats that you got to get in your diet or through supplements. We call them omega-3 and omega-6, which is a little misleading because not all omega-3 and omega-6 are essential, but the essentials are omega-3 and omega-6. The term omega refers to the chemical structure. Don't want to get too into the weeds, into the chemistry aspect of it. Technically, we're just talking about double bonds. A double bond is a stronger bond. And these double bonds, these super strong bonds, give these essential fatty acids. And the omega-3s and omega-6s, six, uh, omega their specific characteristics. Another double bond fat, by the way, double bond is referred to as unsaturated. So when you hear something is unsaturated, that means it has a double bond. Polyunsaturated means it has more than one double bond, usually two, sometimes three. And then uh, monounsaturated, mono means one. So uh, a very interesting non-essential uh, double bonded fat, a mono double bonded or monounsaturated fat, non-essential, is omega-7. And this has some very interesting and unique properties these omega-7s, and you will start to hear more and more and more about omega-7 fatty acids. You're already starting to hear more and more and more about omega-7 fatty acids, specifically one called palmitoleic acid. Hope that's not too hard to say because you, if you're interested in nutrition and you're interested in health, this is a fatty acid that you really want to become familiar with, palmitoleic acid. And as I say, you can expect to be hearing more and more about palmitoleic acid over the coming months and years. As with many health fads, you start to hear about them in the main. You, you hear about them in the mainstream press after folks like myself and Dr. Wallach have been talking about it for years. Gluten intolerance and nutritional deficiencies and uh, and chronic degenerative diseases and cartilage and bone broth. These are all things that I've been talking about. and Dr. Wallach's been talking about for years, and now you're starting to hear about it. I got a Facebook post from a gal or Facebook message from a gal. Uh, down under in Australia, and she says, what about lectins? I hear doctor, there's a Dr. Gundry, he's talking about lectins, and they're really bad for you, and how come we don't know about lectins? Well, I've been talking about lectins on this program for years. I've been talking about it in my presentation for decades. Dr. Wallach's been talking about it for decades. Now, all of a sudden, you're hearing about lectins because a guy wrote a book about it, and that's just the way nutrition goes, and that's why this program is so darn important, and that's why you are smart for listening to this, until listening to the bright side. Because the stuff we talk about here on this program is stuff that you're going to hear about in the coming months and years and, uh, and even decades. Sometimes it takes 10 years or 15 years before so the mainstream press all of a sudden catches on about the importance of something. Intermittent fasting, for example. I've been talking about that for, for decades. The ketogenic diet. I learned about that in pharmacy school. My, uh, endocannabinoids, CBD. We learned about that in pharmacy school. In 1986, I learned about that. 1985. Anyway. So palmitoleic acid, you're going to start hearing about that, my prediction. You're, going to, you're already starting to hear about that um, a little bit, but you're, nothing like you're going to be hearing about it in the future because it is so darn powerful. Palmitoleic acid has a very important mechanism for helping the body work with fat. That's one of its, it has several interesting mechanisms, but its main mechanism of action and one of the main reasons for its very wide spectrum of benefits for the body involves how it activates fat. It's a fat burner. Palmitoleic acid helps the body turn fat into energy, and this means that it's going to help slow down the inflammatory effects that fat cells have on the body. I, I, I know I've said this before. I'm not going to beat a dead horse here, but fat cells are pro-inflammatory. And fat cells become inflammatory when they're packed with fat. Palmitoleic acid helps the body, helps fat cells burn fat so they're not as active. And this is why palmitoleic acid has such wonderful anti-inflammatory benefits which affect numerous systems in the body. 
right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Time to take a break. We'll come back with more good health information. 844-236-6010 is our number. Is the- okay, we're back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and also brightsideben.com. Got search engines at both, uh, on both websites and also longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470 for more information. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Our new connective collagen repair complex for building connective tissue, building collagen, is up. Uh, let's see what else. We've got our Truth Hyaluronic Honey and Truth Peppermint Salicylic Cleansers up. you got to try that Peppermint Sal Cleanser. Both cleansers are really nice, but I am especially fond of the Peppermint Salicylic Cleanser. I love peppermint. It perks you up. It's got... Uh, uh, really nice exfoliating properties. The salicylic acid is anti-aging and skin softening. Great if you're dealing with acne blemishes. Hyaluronic honey is more moisturizing and softening, more gentle. They're both really nice cleansers, aromatherapeutic. And uh, in addition to cleansing your skin gently, you'll also be delivering the fantastically important and underappreciated amino acid, taurine, to the skin. Taurine is a sulfur amino acid that is actually deposited on your skin topically where it helps to heal wounds and it helps to accelerate the growth of skin cells as you're washing your face with Truth Peppermint Salicylic Cleanser and Truth Honey High Hyaluronic Honey Cleanser. You're actually anti-aging the skin and improving the skin. The condition of the skin, unlike most cleansers, which are irritating and drying, the surfactants in, uh, in both our cleansers, Truth Salicylic, Peppermint Salicylic Cleanser and Hyaluronic Honey Cleanser are actually healing, wound healing and anti-aging. All our Truth Skin Health products can be found at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And thank you to everybody who came to our, our uh, skin and nutrition talk at uh, my lab this Saturday, this past Saturday. We'll be doing them regularly. If you missed, if you missed us, uh, you missed a lot of good information about the skin. I've been working with the skin now since 1983, and I know a lot about the skin and about how the skin works and what you can do to have beautiful skin. And that's real, as much as I love nutrition, my real love when it comes to the human body is helping people deal with skin health issues. That's why I started my Truth Treatment products. That's why I've started my other skincare company. And we talked a lot about nutrition in the skin. We'll continue to do that. Our next talk will be sometime in September. So if you missed us this Saturday, uh, please come by next uh, at our ne- come to our next talk. We also gave out some longevity products too, which you missed out on if you didn't come by. Thank you to everybody who was who uh, attended. Continuing on about fats, palmito oleic acid. By the way, we do have lines open at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Continuing on with palmito oleic acid, which is a fat-burning fatty acid. How do you like that? You eat fat, you burn fat. That's a classic example of how, uh, how powerful and how misunderstood fats are. You wouldn't think that you could eat fat and burn fat. Nonetheless, essential fatty acids and omega-7 fatty acids are fat-burning fatty acids. It's a fat that helps you burn fat. And by burning, helping you burn fat, it has anti-inflammatory effects. Because the fatter you are, the more inflamed you're going to be because fat cells produce hormones, specifically inflammatory hormones. And this inflammatory property of fat cells is what accounts for the health challenges associated with obesity, as well as, or, or I should say, with obesity, as you become more obese. As you become more obese, you become more inflamed. And uh, it's this, act, this hormonally active property of fats that accounts for their inflammatory effects. And it also accounts for the anti-inflammatory effects of losing body fat, of, of dropping your body fat. The inflammatory properties of fat cells can cause insulin resistance. They're associated with diabetes. This is why when people lose weight, their blood sugar improves. It increases blood fats, fatty liver, blood clotting. You lose weight. You lose body fat, I should say. Your blood becomes thinner. It becomes better able to transport nutrition. When you lose body fat, fatty liver improves. When you lose body fat, your blood fats drop. That takes, uh, takes the load off your uh, uh, load off the cardio or improves cardiovascular health, I should say. 
All of these are things that you can, all these benefits are things that you can get from using omega-7 fatty acids. Omega-7 fatty acids will help your blood, will help thin your blood, they'll help you with your fatty liver, they'll help decrease your blood fats, they'll help improve insulin resistance. Omega-7 fatty acids have been shown to lower blood cholesterol if you're interested in that. It's a natural, non-toxic statin drug. We talked last week about how essential fatty acids act as uh, natural statin drugs. Well, omega-7 fatty acids act like natural statin drugs too. Could it be? that uh, our uh, epidemic of blood fats, of problems with blood fats, are really due to deficiencies in good fats. I think there's a good case that could be made for the fact that we're not getting enough good fats as being, uh, as being a cause of uh, elevated triglycerides and elevated blood cholesterol. In fact, if you start supplementing with an omega-7 and take your ultimate EFAs, you may be able to wean yourself off your statin drug. And you may also lose weight too. You may also lose body fat too. If you want to get your palmitoleic acid from food, use uh, avocados, use butter, use uh, coconut oil, use seafood or eat seafood, enjoy seafood, especially shellfish, which is a good source of omega-7s, macadamia nut oil, eggs. Eggs are loaded with good fats, including omega-7 palmito, palmitoleic acid. And, of course, there's vitamin D in there and cholesterol in there, omega-3s, omega-6s. Eggs are truly, truly nature's most powerful food, most well-rounded and powerful food. One of the best ways to get uh, your omega-7s, your palmitoleic acid, is to use something that you're just now starting to hear about, but you're going to hear more and more about this over the coming weeks and months and years. And it's called sea buckthorn oil. Probably heard about it because there's some... Uh, there's some opinion shapers and, and uh, leading edge alternative practitioners who are using sea buckthorn oil. Sea buckthorn is not really a sea. When you think of sea buckthorn or when you hear the word sea buckthorn, it sounds like it's an ocean product. It's not an ocean product. It gets its name from, uh, from the Atlantic coast where it was first found. Although these days, the uh, biggest source, the most important source of, uh, of uh, sea buckthorn is uh, the mountainous regions of Russia and China, where it's known as the Siberian pineapple plant. And recently, Canada has become a source of sea buckthorn. It was, it was uh, imported into Canada as an economic resource. The government was hoping to leverage its powerful healing and medicinal properties. And indeed, sea buckthorn does have powerful healing and medicinal properties. It's most especially prized for its fruits, the sea buckthorn fruit which is an incredibly underappreciated and wonderful source of vitamin C. Four ounces of the sea buckthorn uh, fruit, it's a beautiful orange fruit, it can get you up to 20 times the RDA of vitamin C. That's four ounces of sea buckthorn, maybe one or two pieces of fruit. Get you 20 times the RDA, 30 times the amount of, uh, of vitamin C that you'll find in the same amount of oranges. Sea buckthorn is also packed with folic acid, it's got phytonutrients that are important for detoxification. It's got phytonutrients for sun protection, for brain health, for arthritis and inflammatory issues. It's a good source of minerals. The leaves are particularly a good source of minerals, calcium and magnesium and antioxidants. You can actually make your own sea buckthorn tea. Probably haven't heard of that, but if you can get sea buckthorn tea leaves at a good health food store, or if you, if you don't have a good health food store, you can get sea buckthorn tea leaves uh, off of Amazon or off the internet and make your own sea buckthorn tea, and that stuff is powerful. We talked, I don't know, about maybe three or four months ago about rooibos tea, and we've talked a lot about green tea. Well, sea buckthorn tea actually has a very similar nutritional profile to green tea and rooibos tea. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side, and we have lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more good health information right after this. Don't go. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions, comments, or success stories you'd like to share, 844-236-6010. And we'll get your calls here momentarily from Reuters Health. Mediterranean diet may help ease psoriasis. The Mediterranean diet might do more uh, than help ward off heart disease. It may also help improve psoriasis, a new study suggests. So, quote, psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory disease triggered by environmental factors. The Mediterranean diet, which is characterized by a high proportion of fruits, vegetables, cereals, fish, extra virgin olive oil, etc., 
could reduce chronic system systemic inflammation thanks to the anti-inflammatory properties of these foods, unquote. So says Dr. Celine Fon, a dermatologist at Hospital Mon Odor in Critil, France. I think I said that right. Psoriasis is a really unpleasant, nasty condition that's associated with all kinds of health challenges. It's much more than a skin disease. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease. And anytime you have an autoimmune disease, you don't have it in just one place. This is so important to recognize. If you're dealing with uh, multiple sclerosis or type 1 diabetes or, or psoriasis or any autoimmune disease, you have to recognize that the immune system is a system. It's not one thing. So if you have an autoimmune disease, you have a systemic health problem. You've got a body-wide problem. And while it may show up in one area more dramatically than in another, you still have it all over your body. This is so important to recognize if you're trying to go to a dermatologist for your psoriasis or a neurologist for your MS or an endocrinologist for your type 1 diabetes or your hypothyroidism or whatever it is, you're not going to be helped because they're only treating the leaves of the tree. They're not treating the root. This is the problem with modern medicine in general, and it's exemplified with how we treat autoimmune problems. So it's no surprise that, that the Mediterranean diet will improve psoriatic symptoms because the Mediterranean diet is a systemic way of manipulating the body. You change the body at the systemic level, the system level, system-wide, when you change the way you eat or when you eat medicinally. When you eat therapeutically in the Mediterranean diet is exactly that. It's a therapeutic way to eat. Longevity, by the way, uh, has a uh, line of products that allow you to duplicate some of the benefits of the Mediterranean diet. Nonetheless, food is always your best medicine. I, I'm a big believer in supplementation. You guys know that. I, I've been supplementing pretty much my whole adult life. I started supplementing when I was in my early 20s, in my, even before. So I'm a big believer in supplementation, but there's no su supplementation can't touch food when it comes to wide ranging health benefits, when it comes to a wide spectrum of nutritional components. You can't get the same nutritional value from supplements that you do from food. You have to supplement. There's no doubt about it. You absolutely must supplement if you want to maximize your health. But it all starts off with food and supplements are just that. They're supplements. They supplement your diet. If you have a supplemental income, that's not your income. That's not your main income. That's a supplemental income. It supplements your main income. Supplements supplement food. They supplement your main food. And the Mediterranean diet contains all the foods we should be eating. It contains all the fruits and veggies we should be eating. It contains seafood. It's very low in animal, uh, animal uh, uh, fat or animal protein, I should say, with the exception of seafood. I think they eat some lamb. But basically, they get their animal protein from seafood. And it's a source of olive oil, which is a powerful nutritional substance. And I know, I know, I know about the problems with oil, but the problems with oil are not inherent to the oil. Well, let me, let me take that back. The problems with oil that we hear about are really about cooking oil and heating oil and processing oil. Oil itself is loaded with nutritional value, although a case could be made that human beings aren't supposed to be eating vegetable oil because it's a highly, it's a processed food. Nonetheless, the nutritional value of olive oil cannot be, un, uh, ca you can't deny the nutritional value of olive oil, especially when it's mixed with veggies. The combination of the nitrates in the veggies, in the greens especially, but also all veggies, and the olive oil is a powerful, unbelievably important nutritional substance. The nutritional value of olive oil and vegetables, it, it, it's... You, there's no way you can under you can uh, uh, overstate it, and there's it's unfortunate that we're not leveraging it as much as possible if we don't live in the in the Mediterranean. That's why the Mediterranean diet is so important. It allows you to leverage the way the Mediterranean uh, folks who live in that part of the world eat. And by the way, the Mediterranean diet was first discovered when uh, it was noticed that people who were eating these kinds of foods had better health than. Mediterranean folks who emigrated to the United States. So people who lived in Sardinia and, and Italy who were, in, who were poor and living on the, on the indigenous types of foods and uh, subsisting on the indigenous Mediterranean diet had way better health than their Italian cousins who came to the United States and ate processed foods. That's when it was first discovered. Back in the 1940s and 1950s, actually, is when we first discovered the Mediterranean diet, even though it wasn't until the 1990s that it became popular. In any case... Uh, if you have psoriasis, you may want to think about changing the way you eat. That's really, that's really the take-home message here. Whether you believe the Mediterranean diet may or may not help ease psoriasis, the fact is that psoriasis is largely the result of how we eat. 
of what we eat and of what we don't eat. And that, my friends, is a very important message. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Good morning, Denise. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on, Denise? Thanks. Happy Monday, Ben. Happy Monday. I totally trust your wise nutritional counsel and help with um, my daughter. is 28, okay. and she has hot flashes with night sweats so bad. She's too young to be going through this, and I want to figure out what's uh, bringing these out to cause That's it. That's a great that's a great question. That's a great question, Denise. Because obviously she's not menopausal, right? She's 28. So, so you say, well, night flashes, hot, hot sweats, night flashes. That's menopause, right? Well, it's not menopause. No, but here's the thing. It's not menopause. But here's the thing, Denise. Yeah, that's what, that's what this is why such, this is such an interesting and important question. It's not menopause. Night flashes, night sweats and hot flashes occur during menopause, but it's not like menopause causes those. You understand what I'm saying? It, that uh, night, fla- uh, night, <laughs> night sweats and hot flashes are nothing more than the signs of a body in duress. And you don't have to be menopausal to suffer from them. We, we automatically associate them with menopause because menopause is another time when the body is in duress. But the body can be in duress in, uh, at other times too. And obviously this is what's happening to your daughter. Her cortisol is way spiking, and she's got to have other symptoms, too. All right? Does she have issues? Uh, exactly. So she's got a body that's in duress. If you, go to, if you were to go to a doctor, you'd probably go to an endocrinologist, and he would give her hormones, and he would test her, and he'd stick her in a CAT scan, and he'd do blood tests, blah, 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 blah. You don't need any of that. we got to figure out why your daughter's physiology is in such duress. It's very unusual for a girl who's 28, but that's good news. Be- because when the body is in that kind of duress at the age of 28, that means you can turn it around really quickly. Now, how long has she, was her whole childhood marked with health challenges that you know no. of? No. Bad skin, no, problem periods? I so. No, I think she's just more stressful. I think it's the stress in her life, and now she has a job change, but she, she's a little bit overweight. Okay. And, uh, That's another sign of a body in duress. That's another sign of a body in duress. Now, now listen, this is important, Denise. I'm going to say something very important. I want everybody out there to listen to this. When we hear the word stress, we automatically think of psychological stress. It's just, darn, it's just in, the, in, in the zeitgeist. Stress means psychological stress. But it doesn't only mean psychological stress. Stress means physiologic stress as well as psychological stress. So, yes, the psychological component, the mental component, the emotional component, these are all important. But the physiologic cause of stress is, that I, is what I want to talk about. We'll, we'll take a break, Denise. We'll, we'll, don't go away. Okay, we're back on the bright side talking to Denise in, uh, Denise in California. Yeah. Hey, Denise, where in California are you? I'm in Santa Cruz, Ben, your favorite spot. I love Santa Cruz. Have we met? Yes, we have, and I am one of your biggest fans. I no, use the product. I love it. You've saved me from the high blood pressure and tachycardia awesome. stuff, and I've not been on the drugs, the Topol and the Lisinopril for six years. So, Oh, that's yeah, awesome, we Denise. Met, we met at KSU. And, okay, uh, great. I'm sure I recognize you if I saw you. I yeah. got I, I to head down to KSCO, one of the... One of the coolest radio stations, maybe the coolest radio station in the country. MZ does a great job over there. All right, listen, Uh, uh, I got a bunch of calls I want to get to, Denise. So let me just say this. Psychological stress is important. Emotional and mental stress is important. But when I'm talking about stress here, I'm talking about flat-out physiologic stress. The fact that she's overweight tells me that there's cortisol issues going on. The night I didn't need to know that because the night sweats and the hot flashes are classic examples of hypercortisol. Uh, She probably has problems sleeping. Uh, she's got to have messed up periods. Her menstrual cycle's got to be whacked out. So here's what you want to do. An First, IUD. An IUD for five uh, that's, years. That's going to, yeah, that. well, yeah, that's not a good thing either. So here's the deal. Work, you got to go back to the basics, okay? The two basic points of control for hypercortisol issue are going to be the digestive system and the blood sugar system. Do a food diary, have her eliminating problem foods, especially uh, processed foods, and sugar is a big problem okay. when it comes to too much cortisol hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, which follows high blood sugar, and sugar ingestion can spike cortisol. So keep her off of the sugar, the bread, the pasta, foods that that are uh, rapidly uh, turned into sugar, fruit juice, 
fruits even, Got desserts, it. any of those things. Uh-huh. Have, her, have her doing more protein and more good fats. Get her on the Healthy Start Pack. Reduce her caloric intake. And then having her do, doing uh, anything she could do uh, uh, non-food-wise or non-nutrition-wise to reduce her cortisol. SDR breathing, slow, deep, rhythmic breathing. Relaxing Got the it. body through progressive relaxation techniques, starting with the toes and working all the way up through the feet and the legs and, the, you know, working upwards through the body, especially at night. Got it. Uh, and then uh, warm baths every day. Now, she's not going to want to do it at night because she's going to get those night sweats. In other words, calming the body, the body down. Now. Exactly. Yeah, how many, you've heard me say it a million times, right? So I her body know. is in duress. Oh, go ahead. I, I agree. I totally agree. Okay, let me give you a couple yeah. nutrients that you can use, supplements that you can use uh, just to okay. quickly calm the body down. GABA, G-A-B-A, especially before bedtime. Magnesium okay. before bedtime. Theanine, T-H-E-N-I-N-E. Theanine, 100 to 200 milligrams a day. Um, lithium orotate, uh, maybe uh, 5 to 10 milligrams of lithium a, a day or a night. Uh, and then the entire Healthy Start Pack. And don't forget uh, the, omega, uh, the uh, omega fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs. Make sure you're doing about nine of those a day. Now, it wouldn't hurt her to work on her digestive system with probiotics and digestive enzymes as well. But there's so many more things that you could do. I, I can't tell you everything here today. Just calm the body down. Use the SDR breathing, the supplements I just told you about that will calm the body down. Reduce the sugar. Basically, what you're dealing with is a body in duress. Thanks for your call, Denise. I appreciate it. Got I hope it. you helped you out. Thank you. Blessings Take care. You. God bless. Okay. All right. Let's go to Skinny Robert. What's going on, Skinny Robert? Thanks for coming on Saturday. I appreciate it. Hey, you're, you were amazing on Saturday, Ben. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks for the BTT. That was great, too. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad you came. That was my little thank you for coming. So what's right, going right. on today? I, uh, well, I have actually I have two things. One is uh, my knee. I tweaked it again about three weeks ago, and it, and it just feels like a swelling mass down there, and I, I can't seem That's to get good. it inflamed down. But, however, more importantly, I just remembered my daughter, she's 23, she was a softballer, she had multiple concussions, and lately she's been experiencing, um, gosh, loss of, uh, of motor control. She actually went to work out with somebody she felt bad she, uh, with a personal trainer. She went out to her truck to drive home. The trainer came out and she was literally leaning half out of the truck. She lo- loses con- uh, feelings in her arms. And... That's, none of that's good. None no, of that's no, good. No. So How did she get concussions? Forget my knee for now. <laughs> How, okay, well, let's forget your knee for now. How did she get concussions? Softball. I know, but what? I mean, she hitting the head I mean, with a softball? Basically, I've got, a, I've got a picture of the softball Six inches from the side of her head. So she got hit repeatedly, like over. Was she a pitcher or something? How did she get hit? Yeah, she was a she was a left-handed pitcher, and right-handed pitchers strike to left-handed heads. Okay, gotcha. So she was a serious soft serious softball player. Right, right. For eight years. Okay. Is she supplementing? Is she supplementing? No, she's not. Okay. She on? Does she have any other health challenges, especially menstrual Uh, cycles, period um, problems? Um. Yeah, both my women have menstrual cycle problems. Uh, okay, um, so you know, none of that's all that needs to be addressed. They went on the pill to, to lower it down. Lower it down. No, you know? that's not a re- that's not a very good strategy. The pill is not no. a very good way to handle your menstrual cycle problems. Number one, and this is not just for your daughter. I'm talking to everybody out there because right. doctors love to give the pill, the birth control pill, to pe- to women who are having period problems. Number one, you're just poisoning your body with one of the most deadly, ugly drugs there is, which is the birth control pill. And number two, uh-huh. you're not taking care of the problem. The problem right. is still percolating underneath. Usually period problems, menstrual cycle problems can be backtracked to problems with estrogen, which means problems with food and uh-huh. processing food, especially fats. So work it, you're going to work on the fat system of the body in two different ways. Number one, use digestive enzymes, probiotics, fiber, ultimate enzymes, nightly essence, fiber, vegetables, reduce caloric intake. And number two, you want to make sure she's getting the good fats especially the ultimate EFAs. If she's not supplementing, she may not want to deal with supplementation. At least get her the ultimate EFAs, nine of them a day. If you can get her on the Healthy Star Pack, that would be even better. Consider that to be a, I, I can't, the fact that she's, uh, is dealing with motor issues and neural muscu, neuromuscular issues tells me that there's something going on there, and I would not attribute it to the concussions. Uh, okay. you, it may be, and maybe the concussions are causing it, or maybe that they're involved, but that's not where you have power over. That's not where right. you have power over the problem. You have power over the problem at the level of the digestive system, specifically fats. 
It may also be that she's dealing with some kind of the beginnings of some kind of autoimmune problem, uh, which this is about the time when autoimmune diseases will show up in the early 20s, early to mid-20s. Right. So it may be the beginnings of that. That, too, needs to be backtracked to a food issue. So all roads are going to lead back to the digestive system. Given her menstrual cycle problems, I would be focusing on fats. Uh, call me, uh, uh, call me, uh, give, give me a personal call if you want more information, Skinny Robert. I want to get to some more calls here. Thank all you right, so much, right. buddy. Hope Thanks. I helped right. you out. Take care, man. All right, let's go to uh, Barbara in California. Good morning, Barbara. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. Thank you for taking my call. Um, yes. I've been, taking, I've been using bile salts uh, okay. to help with my digestion. Good for Very you. good. Oh, it's, it's incredible. Um, when I use Where'd you them, hear about them? Where'd you hear about the bile salts? From you. From awesome. You. <laughs> good deal. Yeah. And uh, they're not readily available, and so I, I have been using them somewhat sporadically until I can get them again. Well, you'll get them so, in the Ultimate Enzymes. You'll get them in, in – are you doing longevity okay. products? Um, I am doing some longevity products, but I, I've been doing some uh, probiotics and some enzymes from a, another um, company that I haven't tried the Ultimate Enzymes. So okay, now you know bile acids, bile acids is a synonym for bile salts, right? Did you oh, know that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you can get bile acids pretty much anywhere. I mean, I, they have them here locally where I live at, at most vitamin stores. You can get them on the internet. Uh, they're also in, the, oh. as I say, the ultimate enzymes. You could also use lecithin. At least uh-huh. you know, you've heard of lecithin. You probably should be oh. using lecithin anyway. Uh, and okay. that'll help your digestive system. That'll help you make bile, uh, bile salts. So you might want to consider that. But you can get bile salts or bile acids pretty much anywhere. Amazon, you can get them. Okay. And the other thing that I was wondering is, am I going to make myself dependent on them? No. No, there's no uh, dependency. And, and by the way, bile salts also have really neat, interesting hormonal properties that can help stabilize digestive problems. They're just a wonderful oh. supplement to take. So I would, I would stay on the rest of your life, Barbara. Oh, Okay, great. All right. Well, thanks, Okay. Ben. Thank you. Take care. Hey, uh, Carl, the Truth Raider, you get the last word. What's up, buddy? Contributing to the conversation. Good morning, Ben. We want to talk about mucosa. Not so okay. mucosa, but mucosa. Mucosa, they say, well, blood is, is, is life. Well, the mucosa that carries through the body, people uh, seem to, uh, it's a subject that people don't talk about too much, of course, because it's a little bit grotesque in nature. Not but mucus. Muco- well, now, hang on. You're making, you got to make a distinction between mucosa, which is the membrane, a lining of mucus, and then mucus itself, which is a kind of, which is snot, basically. You know, a, a, yeah. a gooey, and it's very important stuff. It's super important for the immune system. You know, yeah, there's, there's medicines you could take that stop your mucus from flowing, which is not a good idea. What did you want to say about it, though, Carl? You want to say about it that people should stop, you know, kind of blowing their nose and all that when they get a cold or a flu like that. They need to leave it in place because then, that's yeah. the white blood carried to the areas to heal the body. Yes, mucus is very healing. Mucus is your friend, as I say in my presentations. Ooh. Thanks for pointing that out, Carl, the Truth Raider. I appreciate it very much. And thank you to all my smart listeners. Listeners. I love my smart listeners. Thanks so much for listening to The Bright Side. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com for all the longevity products and criticalhealthnews.com and truthtreatments.com for all our truth skin health products. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 